Imagine you and your friends start an earthbending tribe on my Minecraft server and live in this gigantic fortress. And this isn't just any giant fortress, it's the ultimate Benders MC earthbending base. This baby is decked out and teched out with doors that can only be accessed by earthbenders, dirt and metal bending emplacements to defend your base, and even a secret bunker with a war room. This base is also 100% self-sufficient, meaning you'll never have to leave to get access to all of your essential materials. Here's a quick tour of the place, just so you guys know what you're in for. As I mentioned previously, you can only enter the base by activating your earthbending abilities. I put lava below the gate just in case any non-earthbenders try and slip underneath it. Now, walking into the main courtyard, you have four mansions to share with all of your friends so you can live in style. Heading over to the main tower, in the center you get this open concept area that allows you to walk right in and see a big overview of your maps. The tower also has a second floor which can only be reached by activating your catapult ability. But this tower holds an even bigger secret. If you go to the center where you keep your maps, there's a hidden entrance to your very own secret doomsday bunker, which, of course, can only be accessed by using your earthbending abilities to drill inside. Hope you're hungry, because you've got some huge farms that will produce you an endless amount of food and materials. Speaking of materials, you get your own personal armory to ensure you're geared up for any task. You also have a war room with a long table for scheming all of your evil plans. Can't forget about the secret lab, which has the same door type as the gates on the surface. It comes equipped with an automatic sorting system to cook up as many potions as you could possibly brew. Call me Heisenberg. I'm also going to be giving away this base, so if you play on my server and you want to live here, all you have to do is comment your username, your favorite part of the base, and watch until the end of the video. Good luck, guys. Without further ado, let's build this base. Yeah, you can. Yeah, so, I'm if you have it set it off of two, it looks awkward. Um, it kind of sets up for not evenly spaced things. So, what I've done is I've set up this kind of boxed out area, and in just one command, I'm going to have. Boom, cross section has been added. So now as we're making everything, we can kind of section things off and make sure that they're completely even. Yeah, so this is um, centered on two. So like if you were to have a front door to this place, it'd be uh, two doors. Yep. All right, yeah, okay. Oh no, th this this is centered on one. Okay, yeah. Okay, so what is this, a 63x63? 63 63? 83, I want to say. 83 by 83. Somebody in the comment Something section like that, yeah. should count all of those blocks for me because I don't feel like it. <laughs> all right, let's uh, get down to business. The uh, So Earth is actually my favorite element, because which is why I actually wanted to do this base first because I just had the most ideas for it. So I'm going to get the center towers. It's going to have a dome on top, and it's going to be it's going to have three different sections. But at the very bottom, you can kind of walk underneath it. So I'm thinking at least it's going to be at a minimum of like 30 blocks. It'll be kind of the, the centerpiece. Um, color palette, I'm thinking we kind of stick to the bossing say style. So that'll be like sandstone. Um, what is that other block? Prismarine. Kind of like the, the green and uh, tan. After we got our palette situated, Kopeka and I started building the main center tower. Later, I started planning the walls of the base. I mean, we could have the wall have kind of a unbendable center, like a, a block that you can't bend that's the, like going through the core of it. Yeah. It's like right here, you could use your raise earth ability, like if I... You know, and that's pretty sick. But we want to make sure that people can't use bending to necessarily get in, you know? Well, yeah, that's true, but I mean, like, again, this is like for like an earth bending tribe. Okay, so... That's if I... true. Oh, you can so... deploy the walls using earth bending. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think we should do that for the gate. Yeah, okay, word. So, I've been trying out this whole fence thing, frog light thing, and I'm gonna do, I think, a backdrop onto that wall of just regular sandstone. I, I yeah, you know, I don't dislike it, but... That doesn't look too bad. It really um, try, try tough, try tough, Ooh, tough Put a, yeah, try using that. Or you could, or you could contrast that if we're going to be doing prismarine for the roofs, so you could try doing that. Oh yeah. Yeah. Dark prismarine is one of my favorite blocks in the game. Cause it's just so, uh, yeah, you know, I'm kind of digging it. What do you think? You yeah, that looks thought? good. Yeah, that that'll, really that'll good. really contrast and Nice fit in with the, the other buildings that will be in here. I like how this looks. I, I am a fan. Yeah, you've been making some more progress over here. You know, I like the, uh, you know, it's giving me some uh, some Roman vibes. Yep, that's the inspiration. That's, yeah, that's that's pretty sweet. I like that. I took a couple minutes to fill out some more of the details on the walls and paste them on all four sides of the base. 
Okay, now okay, now that we got all the walls, we got a full surrounding perimeter now. This is cool. I'm gonna do the, the top of the walls here. The floor is gonna be birch planks, just so that, you know, the, the areas where you're supposed to, you know, have the earth bending advantage from are like, you know, awkward as possible. Sorry, not awkward, but as obvious as possible. And also so that like, you don't accidentally bend the walls. So. Yeah. Oh yes, yep. Right, Good okay. idea. Then I filled in the back sides of the walls and added some ladders onto the pillars to make getting on top of the wall as easy as possible. And okay, I'm adding some of the uh, actually like bending emplacements into the wall areas, sort of uh, experimenting with that on the corners. Yeah, metal fragments. Um, yeah, you can use this as like a turret. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is gonna be. Yeah, you, yeah, you get pretty good coverage from this corner here for sure. We use this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that's sweet. I like that. Oh, nice. Yeah, that's really sweet. I like that. I ended up filling the entire top of the wall with dirt instead of consolidating them into patches, and it works a lot better with the abilities. All right, so on top of the wall, I just decided to make the entire row dirt so that you can just sort of maximize the uh, ease of access to, you know, your earth powers. I think, you know, that makes sense. Also got iron and gold blocks at the pillars so that you can, you know, still use those metal fragments and get that coverage. Um, you know, I think this will work even better for moves like earth shard now because you can, you know, have so many different shapes that you can use. The, the center part is looking good too. So, uh, yeah. Cool. While I finished detailing the inner walls, Kopeka started constructing the dome on top of the main tower. Okay, so I just finished up some uh, detailing on the back walls. I got some uh, some standstone de detailing with some stairs and some walls and stuff. Uh, Kopeka, you've been working on the little centerpiece for a while. You definitely got that, you know, big roof on there. It looks super sophisticated. So the goal is, like I said, to have kind of a, a extravagant centerpiece on here. Up top here, if you want to come to the center, there's actually going to be a, another floor up here, so this uh, this whole thing was just for the design for designing the initial um, archway. But there's going to be a floor up here that you'll actually be able to get to, so this can be someone's room, just like a lookout area. And then down at the bottom here, if, if individuals want to add like I don't know, we can turn this into a forge or something like that, something yeah. cool but we also functional. It's going to be functional yet um, look good at the same time. All right, let's, uh, let's get back to it. Kopeka ended up installing a second floor onto the main tower while I began clearing space underground for our secret bunker. All right, so Kopeka, you just added the glass floor up there and sort of went down a little bit and yes. sort of you gilded it with this cut copper. I think that's a really interesting choice. Correct, and it'll look even better once it starts to actually rust because then it'll, it'll have that green tint that'll somewhat match the roof. Yeah, true. Um, But it'll still stand out a little bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, 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 I think, I think that's sweet. And also, like, it's metal bendable, so, like, yay, earth bending. Okay, so I just cleared out underneath the center point. Pretty large underground area. And I don't know how I'm going to section it out or what I'm going to do, but I'm planning to have... Well, this entire thing is sort of like a secret bunker. And, you know, there's going to be, you know, industrial features of it. There's going to be a secret lab in it. And there's even going to be like a secret escape route just in case shit goes south. And yeah, I'm just gonna just check out, you know, some of the work that we've been doing up here. So we got like these pillars with campfires on them now, which I think is like really dope for ambiance. Um, I, li I like the spruce detailing. You know, we haven't used much other than like birch in here. And then that glass floor that I showed off earlier, we actually changed to be white and tinted glass and if you look closely um you'll notice it's actually a, a yin yang um and yeah all right and let's just get back to it while Kopeka finished the center tower i made the main gates to the base which can only be opened with your earth bending abilities all right okay so i've been working on uh the gateways for the place and i've got a setup that's pretty pretty sweet okay so right now the gate is down this is what you'll see if you've earth bended yourself in but usually it's gonna look like this there's just gonna be this big you know, sandstone wall right in your way, not gonna be able to get over it. And so to get in, what you would do is you just, you know, collapse it down in there. And you know, it works really, really well. It's super seamless. And um, if I PK reload here, you know, uh, just be prepared to toggle your bending Ezra. 
um, the, the gate will idle upwards, so it's not gonna let anybody in by accident. So yeah, now I just gotta basically do that on all four sides. Pretty, pretty sweet way to, uh, get inside your base. I copied the gates over to the other sides and added some detailing while Kopeka started on the center infrastructure. Okay, so I copied the gates over to all four sides of the base now. And I added some, just a little detailing with some armor stands in there, which I know definitely won't copy over because they're entities, but um, it sort of looks cool. It sort of looks like guards garden like the area. Yeah, I think we can go through that and demonstrate it. And now you, you're, you're building one of our first corner buildings here. And I think this is interesting block palette. So um, especially with like the missing bricks and stuff over here. And this okay. could be turned into like a player shop or whatever, whatever you want it to be, basically you can whoever whoever gets this will be able to turn it into kind of like whatever they please all right let's uh get back to it i started working on the basement again and designed a secret entrance for earthbenders to tunnel through okay so i'm working on the basement here and i finished the first entrance which is in the middle of the little pavilion area giant pavilion and so you stand here you can go down with the dig ability just look straight down and you'll land in this pool of water i got sidetracked from the bunker again and helped kopeka finish pasting over the infrastructure and we added some shrubbery and some foliage to make the place look a little more vibrant okay we are back here i've been doing some bone milling here and we finished the uh the house here on the interior i think we we might make these barracks or markets or something we haven't decided yet, but we have uh, got that here uniform on all four sides, you know, sort of acts as like an inner tower as well. I didn't want to put turrets on the walls here. Um, and so Kopeka just finished making this and, you know, it, it, it got a makeover, it got a little redesign, but I like it. But uh, yeah, no, I think also just like with like now having all this shrubbery in here as well, it looks really nice. We uh, replaced the ground finally with the the sandstone sand palette which i think is really cool it's really nice it's you know it's not any less earth bendable but like you know ties all of that together as like one it's on the same platform i'm adding some Pretty spontaneous sweet. path some just like spontaneous pathways along here as well it's that way like yes it's like everything is all even and stuff but there's also some you know rough edges in terms of like navigating around yeah no this is yeah no i like this how it sort of like goes around it We'll be back with updates on that. Now it's time to turn off the lights so we can figure out where to turn on the lights. All right, and we are back. We made it nighttime so that we could figure out where all the dark spots were. We've been adding some of these little lantern poles in places. I put some uh, frog lights behind the, the armor stands that I made earlier. And we're just filling filling these places up. Oh, you know, yeah, Ezra, I really like this uh, the fire pit, fire pit things you made on the towers, the turrets. Now that the base was thoroughly lit, I went back down to the bunker and got a start on the farms. All right, okay, so now we're in the basement and I'm working on the farms here. This one's uh, about 45 blocks long. I'm gonna exclude the beetroot and I'm gonna just make it like potatoes, wheat, carrots. I think, you know, you know, Ezra, I think if we turn this place into like uh, an apiary, um, like, you know, it's gonna pollinate the crops and stuff. So it's like mutual benefits for having like the bees in this That's area. That's true. Yeah, so I'll like, I'll probably glass wall it off so that the bees can't like, you know, just go everywhere. While I finished the farms, Kopeka came to help use up some of that unnecessary space by adding some trimming to the walls and ceilings. All right, so we've been working on the, uh, the basement area. So we got these farms in here that I was starting last time. Uh, pretty cool. Uh, we didn't, we ended up using something else for the walls instead of the glass. So we're gonna have to take care of that. But, um, yeah, over here we got the same thing, sugar cane. Melons and pumpkins, some cactus. We need to do some more lighting updates here. And in the center, Ezra made, um, Ezra sort of curved this place in. Like we just had like way too much space to work with. We made the uh, the, the grand table for the war room. You know, once you get down here, you know, uh, shit's getting serious when everyone's, you know, sitting down and you're scheming, doing your thing. Now this is um, that same chute that drops from the center that helps you get down. We're actually, so for anybody who uses this as a base, they'll be able to put their map up here. And then that will sort of conceal the entrance to the earth bendable, the earth bending only entrance. And then you can go down here and instead of having the water pit, because that would help water benders, it just goes all the way down. And that in turn allows you to dig upwards. So if I do that, I can show myself sort of getting out of here. 
and go up. You gotta go straight up. It, it yeah, take, yeah, takes a little uh, bit. Otherwise, you'll get caught like it's that. Practice. After figuring out how to properly use the elevator, I went and started on the secret lab and brewing chamber. Um, this is the basement where we are uh, almost done here. Oh, almost forgot to show off our secret lab, which we are working on here. We've got um, all of our storage for our potions. Um, and we're setting up sort of like an auto brewing system right now. Not that you'd need to brew that many potions, but you know, uh, what if you do? And we also have an earth bending door over here. Uh, if I put it all in, I'll show you it functionally. Bam, it goes down. Ah, uh, this does not let me raise it yet. Yeah, okay. So I'm still working on figuring that out. I feel like it should have worked. Yeah, no, I guess it doesn't. So, yeah, I guess I'll update when uh, we get that fixed. I ended up having to entirely redo the earth bending door leading to the lab. I also went ahead and made an armory with an enchanting station and an infinite lava source. Kopeka changed up the elevator design and added some amethyst detailing to embrace the mineral theme a little more. All right, we are back. We've got a few changes here. We got, uh, you know, war room situated. We now got a carpet around it. Um, our lab, we got an update in there. If we go through. Um, it looks pretty similar, but we changed the frog lights to these fluorescent lights up here. It looks pretty sweet. Gotta like it. Um, and if we come over here, Ezra's been working on this amethyst dealio, and I made this so, armory here. Walk on the ground and, and listen to the sound that it kind of gives off. It, like, sparkles. Anyways, there's a lot of empty space here, and we did that on purpose, so that way, like, if you want to add, if anyone wants to add to it, there's there's more than enough room to do so but like obviously you've got all your essentials you got your your enchanting table you got your anvils your smithing table your your blast furnaces um you know even you got oh, yeah, yourself a lava farms. generator oh yeah and you know can't forget the farms too you know it's it's complete completely self-sufficient and oh okay so this is what you did instead of the glass this is this is interesting yes yeah okay i mean hey just you know more 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 farming room. man more farming um yeah now now, now it really is a greenhouse um <laughs> So, uh, yeah, and also, yeah, we changed the, the green glass on here to, uh, tint, tint. tint. yeah, tin. And, uh, yeah, I think, uh, we should be ready for the, the tour and testing phase of this, um, very soon. I think we're going to put a few more details on this off camera, but, uh, yeah, we should be ready for the grand reveal. All right, guys, I'm back. It's a day later and let's, uh, let's do a tour here. So I just spent all day editing this video. Gosh, this place just looks gorgeous, man. Um, yeah, let's just, let's get right in here, man. So, um, if you come in here, you know, all that copper we placed yesterday, it's oxidized. It looks really nice. Uh, I think it goes super well, especially with the prismarine. You know, editing these long form videos, dude, especially since, you know, basically all my videos on YouTube are shorts. Like, this shit is hard, bro. Like, you know, I give some credit to people who make longer videos, man. Uh, anyways, so, let's check it out. Let's check it out. I'm gonna go in spectator mode. So go down here so there was a little bit of tweaking done after the video ended last night but not a lot as you can see it's basically still the same in most places you know you know we still got like everything in our farms um yes there are there are there are bees in here but i have a mob spawning off right now so you're not going to see them yes we got the war room here looking really nice pretty cool also got our lab in here and we got a bunch of barrels and lots of fun exciting stuff for us to take a look at no i mean this is a cool base i mean uh, ezra and i we worked pretty hard on this this is uh i yeah i'd 100 percent live here yeah freaking for sure all right and remember guys we are going to be giving this base away we're giving it away all you have to do is drop your username your favorite part of the base in the comment section and watch the entire video. Trust me, we will know if you watch the entire video. All right. And uh, yeah, I'll just, uh, once you do that, I'm just gonna randomly select a person from the comment section to win this base here. It's pretty sweet. I really like it. If you guys wanna see more videos like these building bases, you know, the longer kind of content, definitely let me know. Like the video, subscribe. Again, I'm sort of new to these things, so yeah. Cut me some slack, but uh, I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you later. Don't forget to subscribe